could be nasty. Indoor day for sure and go ahead and plan on what you will do if you do lose power because better to be prepared. We've got a tropical storm warning that is up for the western part of North Carolina. It extends east almost to Charlotte there. It actually does include Charlotte. It also includes Winston Salem and Greensboro. It doesn't include Alamance or Randolph counties, but folks are under a wind advisory. The tropical storm warning is for the highest winds across our area. Mount Airy, North Wilkesboro, Martinsville, Reedsville. So we're looking for wind gusts anywhere between 45 to 55 miles an hour on average. We could get some a little higher than that. When we do have severe thunderstorms, we have 60 mile per hour winds and those take down trees. So that gives you some idea. And we're talking about several hours of this window as this storm moves through. It is going to move through very quickly, though. We're also looking at two to four inches of rain, mountains and foothills. And there may be some areas in the triad, but barely get even just a trace to maybe a quarter of an inch of rain. There's a sharp line where we will not have any rain and there is a chance for severe weather. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Temps in the 60s right now warm and muggy out there. They'll be in the upper 70s close to 80 tomorrow afternoon as that tropical air moves in. You can see some of the showers right now again focused up against the mountains. You may pick up an inch by early tomorrow morning and then by about 8 9 a.m. We're expecting the remnants of this to be moving into the mountains and then behind it a strong low pressure system that's been bringing snow and ice to the southern plains states and is going to bring us some real cold air for the weekend. So this will move rapidly to the northeast. 80 mile per hour winds. The forward speed has jumped from about 20 miles an hour earlier this afternoon to now 31 miles an hour. That's how fast this storm system is moving. It is going to cover Alabama and Georgia and parts of Tennessee by tomorrow morning and then by tomorrow night. It is already out into the Atlantic there near Delmarva and then by Friday out over the North Atlantic. Here's the heavy rain coming in with this storm. There is Zeta's remnants at 10 a.m. So I think that window between about 9 and noon is going to be the wettest for most areas. By afternoon, most of the heavy rain is off to the east, and then we do have that slight chance that we'll see some thunderstorms popping up ahead of our cold front across the central and eastern parts of the triad by tomorrow evening. So we do have that marginal risk for isolated strong to severe storms. Any storms that develop in this area may have damaging winds, but there's also a slight chance we could have isolated tornadoes. Here's the rainfall forecast and you can see it's kind of shifted. We've been watching this closely. Any shift in the track and you're going to see rainfall totals go up. Up until right now, I've only seen about a half of an inch in the triad. So I want you to go ahead and still prepare for some pretty heavy rains across central and western North Carolina as this storm track is going to be moving through right overhead. That means rapid rises in streams and maybe some flooding Friday and Saturday in the new and the Yadkin rivers. Most of that rain is going to take place tonight and during the day tomorrow. Wind advisory for Burlington, Asheboro, our eastern counties for wind gusts of 40 miles an hour. Heavy rain, 9, 10, 11 a.m. This is noon and then you're shoving it off to the east. The numbers that are on the screen, those are wind gusts, which are averaging at about 40 to 50 miles an hour and then they will come down some tomorrow afternoon when the front comes through, but it's still going to be windy. So we're on alert status for tomorrow. Upper 70s, southwest wind extremely strong. Foothills also upper 70s tomorrow afternoon. Upper 60s expected in the mountains. Rain again, morning, midday. Wind continues all day. Prepare for debris potentially blocking roads as well as power outages. And also prepare for some cold air coming up this weekend. 30s are in the forecast several days on our seven day. All right.